attacking the guillotine choke from the closed guard. What a lot of people will do when they go for the guillotine choke attacking the guillotine choke from the bottom. What a lot of people will do is that they'll secure the neck but they will not put their hands together before they fall back. This is a very common problem amongst all of my students. So maybe we'll work from the closed guard. A lot of people will sit up and they'll even bring their hips away and then they'll get the neck like this and then they decide to fall back but look they forget to put their, their hand inside they just fall back immediately. What you need to do is you need to put your hands together first and then fall back. So maybe from the close guard again, here, I sit up here, I put my hands together right away, always putting my hands together. It's better to have your hands together than, rather than falling back here, then I fall back to, to choke Jason out. What will happen if I only have one hand, typically the person's head will just pop out. So even if I'm just sitting from butterfly guard, and here I have the choke with one hand. From here, if, especially in Nogi, especially if he has a really strong neck and he keeps his eyes up to the sky, he's going to go, and as I fall back, he's going to pop his head up just like that. All right? So I'm going to lose the position right away. So when falling back, I want to put both hands together here, and, and then I pull guard.